Robo Papa. Hey YouTubers, Robo Papa here. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use a shift register um, of type SN54HC595. It's an 8-bit uh, register with a three-state output register. So over here, you can see already the setup that I have with some buttons that will um, show you how you can use it without a microcontroller. And then over here we have the um, the IC, the shift register, which will basically output into um, LEDs. So let me show you a short demo, and then we can go over the schematics. Um, I'll turn on my power supply with the uh, 5 volt as uh, as the input, and then I have over here. This is like to basically clear uh, the the shift register memory. This one to um, push a value. This will indicate the value if it's on or off and this is the latch which basically will say push everything to the output. So let me first clear and then I'll latch. You can see there's not no light. Then I'll push a 1 and we'll latch it. And you can see now over here that we now have the green light turned on. So let me pass now um, a 0 then another zero and you can see how the light is actually shifting around until it gets to nothing so now let's do uh, a one, a zero, a one you see nothing happen until I'm actually latching it and now we have a one, a zero and a one then if I push another zero so now this starts shifting so that's a short demo. Let's go now to the, the whiteboard and show the schematics basically and how everything works. Okay, so we have the diagram over here of the shift register. Um, here's your notch over here and your first pin will be to the left of it, pin number one. Goes all the way down to pin eight, which is the ground. Then shifting over here, which will be pin number nine, all the way up to 16, which will be your uh, voltage input. Um, pin 15, 1, and up to 7 will be your shift register outputs, the one that actually control the LED in our demo. So it's QA, QB, all the way to QH. Um, like I said, pin 8 is the ground. Uh, I'll go up over here to 16 real quick. Um, so that's the VCC, the 5 volt input, where we need dealt with pin uh, 15. Pin 14 is our serial, that's um, wide indicating if you will have a high or low bit um, going in. Um, the OE is the output enable uh, by default, or in order for it to be enabled, you want it to be um, low. Therefore, most likely you will connect this one to ground directly. Um, then you have um, the, the clock and the serial clock. The serial clock is the one that actually push one bit from the serial inside the register. And then the clock over here is what I call the latch. That's taking everything that is in the memory, pushing them to the QA all the way to QH. That way you can see the output. Um, if you remember in the demo, we had a red light. That's the serial clear. Um, if it's slow, it will clear the memory within inside the, um, the bit, the, the shift register. Um, that's why you want it to be by default on high. Um, with the button, with the menu that I clean, uh, click on that, then it will push everything as clear. Um, the QH tick, it's actually, you can connect multiple registers and the output will from this will be the input for the next one. So it's nice that, because you can actually add another one and have suddenly 16 output um, with just few uh, pins. So that's uh, basically um, the pin itself. Let's go over like uh, a small example over here on the whiteboard as well um, that actually show you what is being doing. Okay, so here's another example. And we're talking about um, QA all the way to QH. Uh, this is will be the in-memory area, which then will, after the latch, will go into the output itself. So like the QA, QB, QC, all the way to QH. So let's say that we right now having the value 1 on the first one and we will latch it then 1 will become here. 
as well. Now if we clear the memory, if you remember the, the serial clock um, where it's go to low, if you want to clear it. If we clear it, but not latching, we'll have zero over here, but the one still will be unable over here. If we latch, once again, this will be clear. So that's how the, the, the latch itself and the uh, uh, clear works. Alright, so let's say that the serial we're turning it on with one and we push that. We didn't latch yet. Now the next bit comes in and we say it's zero. So the one will move over here, it will shift it. Oops, sorry. The one will be shifted over here and zero will come in. Now we're sending another bit, let's say that it's uh, another zero. So that zero will be here, and the zero and the one will be pushed on another one. If the next bit that we're sending will be one, so we will have one over here that got from the input, and then the zero, zero, one will be pushed to the left. So if now we latch, we will actually see the output will be like this in the LEDs. Now if we send another bit, because we didn't clear this, everything will be actually shifted. So if we'll say we send a zero over here, so we had one, zero, zero, one. Now if we'll latch, we'll have the same values. Like this. And then you can go on and on um, the nice thing is that when you're done over here and you have connected to the, if you remember we had the QH um, tick, this value will come from whatever is here when we're done with that. So if we take an example and we push four more zeros, right, and I'll keep this as a reference, if we push four more zeros, uh, push four more zeros, so we'll have zero, 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 and I will have zero, one, zero, zero. The one that was over here and then was pushed, it will actually be equal to this one. So now if you're connecting another shift register, now you can use this one as the data. And then you have another shift register that actually um, works together. So next I'll show you how you can actually connect it to a microcontroller like an Adreno and use the sketch to actually turn on and off um, LEDs. Alright, so we're over here in the Adreno environment and I wrote a small program that basically looking on the serial com um, monitor and if there's no input from that, it will just alternate between um, high and low and then push that bit into the register. And then if we have a serial monitor, it will take an integer value up to 255 and then we'll show the value with the lights. So what you see right now, um, it's basically that alternation between um, the lights, always going one on, one off, one on, one off, and it's pushing it. Um, let me restart the Arduino that way you can see it better. So you can see now it's going on, off, on, off, etc. So now let me open the serial command, which I will put um, a value, let's say um, the value six. And you can see that actually the, the third and the second bit are actually lit and the first one is not. If we'll put, for example, um, 16, we should see only one light going on. Um, let's take um, 255, which will light everything. There you go. If we'll take zero, nothing is turning on. So really it's like you create a kind of like a conversion of binary with that shift register. And all it does, it's calculating the number and 
uh, putting the the values to the shift register, which in in turn turning on the the LEDs. So um, that's it for for now, guys. Um, let me know what you think by leaving a comment below, um, and if you have any questions as well. And as always, don't forget to um, subscribe. Uh, it helps a lot. All right. Thanks.